And finally tonight, what could be a major development for damaged eyes? Can they be coaxed into repairing themselves? The news from Andrea Canning. For people who see the world like this every day, a breakthrough. Until now, there was little hope for the 10 million people who suffer from corneal blindness caused by infection, injury, and genetics. The best option, a corneal transplant, but hard to get with a shortage of donors and requiring a lifetime of drugs to fend off rejection. Now doctors have opened a whole new door, an artificial cornea made of human collagen, almost like a contact lens sewn into your eye. It actually coaxes the cornea to regrow natural cells and nerves, restoring sight. It does not appear that there are downsides because none of our patients showed any signs of rejection. I think this should give uh, uh, great hope to uh, people with blindness. Potentially making this the decade when millions will finally see like this. Andrea Canning, ABC News, New York. And wouldn't that be great? I told you that you could peel away toxic waste and radiation just peel it away with just a little bit of spray yes it could be true and happening right now it's our big eye and it's next and think about japan and their cleanup efforts from the tsunami they not only have to worry about cleaning up debris but also radiation one of the products being used to clean up radiation in, De in japan is actually called decon gel the manufacturers are based in hawaii and decon gel has the consistency of hair gel if you will uh, and here to tell us much more about this is eileen zimmerman uh, she spoke to the inventor of this miracle goo uh, eileen thanks for coming on the show uh, first of all tell us a little bit about how this works um, Deacon gel is a gel that goes on as a gel over radioactive waste, hazardous ma waste. It can clean up a mess lab, anything that's tiny microscopic particles. And um, it hardens, and then it can just be rolled up and thrown away. So it encapsulates whatever's hazardous so that it doesn't leak or leach out. So it's really safe, and it lowers the hazardous level of the waste. And then it's just tossed out. And so you just, you just spray it on or brush it on? It's brushed on, and it can be brushed on almost any um, material, whether it's concrete or it's like a lab bench, um, wood. It just goes on like hmm. a gel. It's spread really thin. It dries, and then it can be rolled up, folded, and compressed and thrown out. And what sort of hazardous waste are we talking about that this gel can actually clean up? Well, in Japan, it's helping to clean up radioactive waste, but it can also be used for any kinds of um, hazardous waste, like... Um, the Department of Energy has used it in their labs to clean up beryllium, and it can also be used anything that's toxic. It was used to help clean up. There was a, a, a problem in a Western Hungary with um, a village that had an alkali sludge problem, and they had to clean up alkali with it, which can burn um, your skin on contact. So that went down, and it cleaned it up. Um, uh, anything like that, anything that's mm -hmm. dangerous, hot shirt would be around. And from what I understand, this was actually discovered um, by accident. How, how did that happen? Uh, well, the CEO of the company is Hank Wu, who's in Honolulu, and he has a, a venture capital and technology acceleration firm called Sky Ventures, and they have a team of scientists, and they work on various projects, and they were working with some gels for something unrelated to this, and overnight, some of the gel fell from the lab table onto the floor. They came in in the morning, they cleaned it up, and they found out that the floor underneath was completely pristine, just completely white. Hmm. And they tried to match the floor around it by scrubbing it and cleaning up, and they couldn't. And so Hank says that's when they realized that they had something there that was pretty unique. Yeah, what a lucky discovery that was. I would imagine that this is a pretty hot product. Um, any, can you, you have any idea who's expressing interest in it already? Um, well, according to Hank Wu, he says the entire world is calling now, especially <laughs> since the unfortunate situation in Japan. Um, but lots of countries are interested in it because um, those that are worried about terrorist activity that might use radioactive or hazardous waste, but also any, like, universities or hospitals that have radioactive or hazardous waste that needs to be cleaned up. Um, almost any industry that deals with radioactive or hazardous waste is interested in what, um, uh, what CBI polymers and Beacon Gel have to offer. So the field is pretty limitless. Also, countries and organizations that want to stock up and be prepared for environmental disasters, 
like what happened in Japan or yeah. Paris. When we were talking about this in our uh, morning editorial meeting, we all thought it was pretty cool, but a lot of us wondered, uh, are there any toxins left behind once you use something like this? Or, or is it, I mean, is there anything in this decon gel or, or anything like that? Or it is completely clean and good to go? You know, what they tell me, it's completely safe. And what's really, really great about it is that it completely encapsulates whatever it's designed to clean up. So unlike if you're cleaning up radioactive waste with water and soap, you know, you have to contain the water. And that's really hard to do, and it's really heavy. But with this, it's completely contained. It won't leach out. And also, it can be compressed, because with hazardous and radioactive waste, one of the biggest problems is, um, one of the biggest costs is disposing of it by volume. So this really reduces the volume enormously. And because nothing can leak out, it um, reduces the level of, the hazardous level of the waste. Well, it is certainly uh, fascinating. Eileen Zimmerman, uh, thank you for explaining all that to us. Uh, and I love that it was discovered by accident. I just think that's great. Uh, appreciate your time today, Eileen. Thanks a lot. And to get more information on the Decon Gel and to read Eileen's entire article on the product, you can head to our blog, cnn.com slash alley. Well, for months, they were stuck inside. But now a kindergarten school in Japan can finally play outside, thanks to a special product by a Hawaii company. KITV4's Lara Yamada joins us now. And Lara, this is a school you're pretty familiar with. Yeah, I visited the same school in April in the aftermath of Japan's triple disaster. Now, at the time, they were preparing for a long summer indoors due to radiation contamination fears. But check this out. We just got this video today. This week, a company called CBI Polymers, based in Honolulu, has been spraying and glopping on what they call their decon gel on surfaces outside the school. They then peel off the blue goo, lifting off contaminants without having to use any water. And they say it really gets into the pores of those surfaces. It's a green product. For the first time within the industry, we have a water-soluble, near-neutral pH product. Uh, that can be applied and remove contamination at a very high efficiency. There you go. Look at those kids go. You can imagine they're pretty excited. Uh, the company, they won't get official results back for another couple of weeks, but they say preliminary tests have shown nearly 100% removal of contamination. Bulldozers scraped off the top layer of dirt on the playground to finish off that job. CBI Polymers is already testing the gel in one of Japan's nuclear plants and hopes to use it soon on everything from emergency vehicles to even train stations. They're even preparing to use it for building restoration here in the U.S. Pretty cool, Paula. It is cool. A lot of things it could be used for. Thanks, Lara. We see barcodes these days on just about everything we buy. There's a local company that makes those codes edible, not so much as a tasty treat, but to make food and drugs safer. Manolo Morales reports. The pharmaceutical market has an estimated value of $800 billion worldwide. About 10% of the market is considered counterfeit. So this is an $80 billion counterfeit market. I mean, counterfeit incorporated, so to speak, uh, much bigger than any corporation we know of that's legitimate. Preventive measures are taken with more secure packaging, but a Hawaii company called True Tag Technologies wants to add an extra dose of security by putting what's essentially edible barcodes on every pill. And we sprinkle a few of these, think of like a sugar donut on a tablet, so that an inspector can take a true tag reader and read those little grains of sugar, so to speak, the true tags, and tell it has a unique optical signature. Each coated tag is smaller than a grain of sugar. It's made of silica, found in many food items, and FDA approved. Each one carries a unique spectrum of colors that is detected by a reader, which looks like a microscope. TrueTag developed the reader, which will also be provided to the pharmaceutical companies and eventually to the pharmacists. Uh, as long as they have a line of sight, they can read our tags and validate with their security teams, their QA teams who are around the world, making sure the supply chain is safe. TrueTag Technologies recently won the grand prize at the prestigious Launch Silicon Valley 2011 conference. The so-called edible barcodes can also be used for high-priced food items that are being counterfeited. Especially in the high-end wines and high-end foods like caviar and, and, and high-grade sashimi and sushi. 
The company is currently working with a pilot partner which is using the tags on nutritional supplements. If all goes well, O'Neill says TrueTag will launch the product within the next couple of years and should help combat the lucrative market of counterfeit drugs. Manola Morales, KHON2 News, Hawaii's news leader.